This is a nice drill press. But even at the slowest speed, it runs too fast for a number of things that I want to do. I'm going to show you one way to slow it down with the minimum cash outlay and a little bit elbow grease. For some reason, which is good for us, they often sold these Craftsman four-speed drill presses, one, two, three, four-speed drill presses. They often sold them with a one-half horse motor that has a double shaft. You can see the second shaft, you know, pointing out the bottom end. And this one, as you just saw, is running at the stock uh, speed. The slowest it goes is about 550 RPMs. I have modified the other one that I have in my small machine shop. So let's go there and see what I did to slow it down to about 150 RPMs. Let's drill a hole with a 3 inch hole saw and a piece of half inch plywood uh, using uh, my Craftsman uh, 1960s <coughs> drill press whose slowest speed is about 550 RPMs. Notice how fast the pole saw is going. Now we will change speeds to go from about 550 RPMs to go to about 150 RPMs and drill another hole. Speed isn't important. The speed of drilling the hole isn't important here. It's the idea of showing you how slow the drill press can go with my modification. I've added an extra motor. Now, behind the scenes here, but I'll show you later, I'm going to plug in the extra motor and unplug the motor that is the primary motor that drives the drill press. So now we're going to be driving it at about 150 RPMs. Notice how slow the whole saw is going. You can just about count the revolution, can't you? That's about 150 RPMs, if you can see the little pink tag going by there. You can see the main drive motor here. There's the four-speed pulley on top with its belt. And then here on the bottom I've added a six-inch pulley, and in this case a 30-inch belt. And back there you can see a one-third horsepower sub pump motor with a one-and-a-half inch pulley on it. Here's a left side view of the modification. So with the uh, one and a half to six inch pulley on the bottom and the uh, belt set for the slow speed on the top, I end up at about 140 RPMs with this setup. And here now you can see the bracket that supports the uh, this motor. I used a one-third horsepower sump pump motor that I got for, I think, about a dollar and a half. I simply made these two bracket rails that bolt on right underneath the main motor uh, to support. Uh, I, I used a piece of particle board here to mount the uh, sump pump motor on, uh, and uh, uh, the slot in between I used for adjustment mechanism. I won't give any measurements because I'm sure your motor will. Uh, be different than mine. And you can also see that the motor is at a little bit of an angle. 
Uh, the sump pump motor doesn't have any feet on it, so I use some uh, stovepipe strap, and no matter how hard I tightened it, it still is at a little bit of an angle, but it works pretty good. Originally, I used this switch to turn the main motor on and off. Then, when I set up the extra sump pump motor, I used its motor mounted switch to turn it on as needed. But it wasn't always handy to get to, and I still had the possibility of having both motors turned on at the same time if I threw this switch while that one was on and I wasn't paying attention. So I decided to connect only the motor in use directly to this power switch. That way I'd always use the same switch no matter which motor was in use. To make this work, I attached a short cord to the switch itself and attached a one foot long power cord to each of the two motors. This way I plug in only the motor that I want to use which is always using the same on off switch and it you know provides some safety and I don't over speed one motor if I make mistakes. Well, that's it. Uh, now I have a drill press that can go quite slow. I spent a dollar fifty on the motor, I think, and I had the pulleys laying around here. If I'd bought them new, they'd have cost about twenty bucks, and the thirty-inch belt another seven dollars or so. Of course, there's the time I spent making the adapter, but I could have spent the time watching TV. Thanks for watching.